So in this video, we're gonna take a look at the shot behind the back. So this is played when your opponent catches you off guard and you're unable to go from the forehand to the backhand in quick enough time and you have to play the ball behind your back. So the one thing to really think about here is that you're not trying to hit the ball as a backhand here. You're not breaking the wrist. You're actually coming around your back and hitting the ball with the forehand side of your racket. So I'm going there and I'm not going there because there's no power, I've got no ability to get a decent amount of pace onto the ball. But from there, I can actually swing reasonably freely and hit the ball with the forehand face. So you can see there's a couple of great examples here of Ranima Walili, who's able to really control the ball as she becomes more proficient at this and start thinking about putting spin on the ball and hitting around the outside of the ball. But in some situations, again, as we talked about with the shot between the legs, it's just a case of getting that racket face on the ball and keeping the ball in play. Obviously, the safety considerations, once again, become apparent when you've got an opponent in front of you and you just you, know, you don't want to risk just swinging wildly, catching the ball off the frame and shooting it straight into them. So you've got to be aware of where your opponent is. But if you are looking to keep the ball in play and you realise there's an opportunity where you haven't got a chance to get onto that backhand, you can get that racket head through nice and quickly, get the legs out of the way, and then think about that follow through direction to dictate where you want the ball to go. So if your opponent has hit that low hard cross court from the front left, and there's space on this side of the court, you can get that racket head on the ball and pop it back cross court. But it's all about thinking about that forehand racket face, getting it behind your back, and then controlling the follow through, which will ultimately dictate where the ball's gonna end up. 